Okay, so 78 from chapter 3, is that right? Yeah. Page 128. Oh, thank you. So it cites a geometric distribution with P equal to 4.09. So did you get part A or not? No, I didn't know where to start. It helps that. Yeah. Do you need other values besides just the point four on nine, or is that it? Well, <coughs> the drought is water supply remains a critical value, whatever, preceded followed by periods in which the surp supply exceeds this critical value. So I think what happens is you get drought, 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 and then you get water. I think that's how I interpret <coughs> it. And so it's the number of intervals you have before you break out of your drought. That's how I interpret it. Is that how you interpret it? How would you go about calculating the probability? Because we don't. Like, do I do a random data or do it, is it No, no, no. So let's kind of think about this. Um, the, the random variable is the number of consecutive time in intervals below critical value until um, it exceeds this critical. So you get a surplus. So what I would say is you would have I believe you'd have uh, 1 minus P and then you'd have count these like in this case 3 and then you'd get it above it you'd get above that value so, like if you had four, five of these Ds, you'd have one minus P to the fifth times the probability that you you so get out of the drought. Just the that's just the that's just the, the distribution for the geometric. So we don't need like a total number of runs. Like you you need a total what? You don't need a total like number of runs or anything like that. Um, what do you mean by that? I'm not quite sure. I think I understand. So exactly three would be this, then you'd have two and then one, or maybe even zero. So for the at most three, you would have to add up zero, right. one, two. Right, right, yep. Can you go over 54C? All right, is that good enough, yeah. Tegan, for you? Yeah, and the geometric distribution is, um, found on page 126, equation 317. The difference there is that you do start with x equals 0. And we'll try to make that point in class today when you start at x equals 0 and when you start at x equals 1. Okay. All right, Abby, you said 54? No. What number was it? 54C. 54C. Ah, the tennis racket. So it comes in mid-sized version and oversized version. 60% like the oversized. And you got A and B okay then, is that right? And so, store currently has seven rackets of each version. What is the probability that all of 
the next 10 customers who want this racket can get they want what they want from the current stock. Is that what you're you're asking that? Okay, so now, Alex, now your question makes a little bit more sense. So I understand. Well, let's kind of think think about that. We have seven oversized and seven regular. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is what we have in stock. So any time we have more than eight want one of these, then we are over. Then we then we can't get it, right? So we take the one minus that probability. Right, so we have ten people come in, six of them want one, four of them want the other, we're good. Seven want one, three of the other, we're good. But when one wants eight of either one, then we're then we're out of luck, right? So I would do the binomial of eight of seven rackets of 0.6. If we just had the one racket, we'd have plus binomial of nine, seven, point six plus the binomial of 10, 7.6. So this would be all the ways that um, they would want the oversized of the, of, of the eight parts. But then we also need to figure out what's the probability of eight, uh, actually, yeah, 8, 7, 0. 0.4, 0. 0.4, and then 0.4. Now, but this doesn't yet, um, get us to where we want to be. <laughs> That's if we just had one tennis racket and the other tennis racket. Okay, anybody can give me some help, Andrew? Well, so can you view it as you have 10 trials, and you're trying to figure out the probability of getting eight successes or more, right? And the probability of getting success is 0.6. Isn't, isn't that the binomial distribution we want? So say this again, I think you're on the right track. Well, we can take the, the binomial CDF of getting 10 Right, and then subtracting the binomial CDF, 10 out of 10 successes, 10 trials, 10 successes, and then subtract the binomial, binomial CDF of 10 successes and 7. That makes sense. I but see what you're that's saying. What I'm thinking. Okay, so. Right, so well, first of all, let's, let's answer the question first. Okay. What's the probability that we get eight, nine, ten successes, or zero, one, and two successes? Well, we can't right. get eight, nine, or ten successes, right? Well, no. Out of ten, if ten people come, oh. then these are the. This is where we would not have a success. We ran out of the oversized rackets, and in this case, we'd run out of the normal sized rackets. Because if only two people want the oversized racket, what do the other eight want? The regular, the regular size. And so we would we would have run out of that. So oversized is success, right? In this case it's a success, yeah. It's you remember success does not mean yeah. a good thing in statistics all the time. So what I would do is I would add up these six probabilities right. at sixty percent. Well, if the same thing happened with the other one, then I would have, let's say they got 10, everyone came in and wanted mid-sized, that would mean only nobody wanted an oversized. Or if nine people wanted the regular size, only one wanted the oversized. Yeah. So this is how you 
calculate the probabilities for these successes, and then Andrew's on the right way as far as figuring out what you would do to figure out, uh, use the CDF to find the probabilities. Okay, which step are, is not clicking? So, how, if you like add the probabilities for 8, 9, 10, and 0, 1, 2, uh -huh. isn't that just the answer? Where are you? Yes, it could be. Um, except for are you supposed to find... Well, you have to take 1 minus that, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so 1 minus that, right. If you wanted to use a CDF, you'd be 10 minus 7, 2 minus, or just 2. I guess 2 is a CDF then. And add those two probabilities together. 